Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jamina Love, back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing, my busy bees? Staying busy, I hope. Mm-hmm, keeping it sexy, child. I try to, always. Today, I am having, like, the worst allergy attack all up in here. But, we have physical therapy today, so get ready with me. And I wanted to get ready using the SpongeBob Wet n Wild palette. Have y'all gotten your hands on this $15 Gem, OMG, OMG, okay, I have not swatched it, so I'll swatch it with you, I only swatched a few colors when I did, like, the checking of it, let me put a dry towel down, because, you know, that's important, alright, so here's the, <laughs> the, the palette swatched, I've totally lost my train of thought, um, now there's two things I want to talk about, so, these two right here, this marble one and this glitter, they were very temp temperamental. Like, this one needs a glitter glue, definitely. It needs just for, to get it to build up. And then this one took a lot to get it to build up. Now, oh, and these two mats here. This one's like a satin mat and this one's like a little bit deeper. But honestly, they could have gotten rid of it. One of them or the other, because it's like this one and this one. You can see they, they're quite similar, but just one, this is deeper and this one's lighter. And I'm just like, you guys could have really done something else with that one. But anyways, let's get into a look. I'm going to prime my eyes with some Beauty Crop Stuck On You. And then we're just going to jump on in. I mean, every color in here is so pretty, including the blue. Even though that blue is a little bit patchy. It does go on nice. It's Everything is buildable. Like, I have not had a drugstore palette like this that I could, that impressed me. You know? The colors at first, you know, on camera, seeing them on Instagram and stuff, I really was hesitant. But when I finally got to see it in store, touch it, true enough, it was the last one, so that was a factor. Brought it home and then decided... If I was going to touch it or not. And then I was glad I touched it. Because it is very pretty. It has now been my. So far for the past couple of days. My go to palette. Now I've been working with this beauty crop stuff. Like you have to build it up. To give it like a serious. Opaque. Look. But you don't have to. It will still work if you do it. Just like a swipe of this on your eyes but I don't know I, I just don't feel secure without it being you know extra secure so I'm gonna go into this rich brown which actually is very rich you'll see right here ooh I know I knocked off the excess because I wanted to show you see how she's pretty rich and ooh, I was gonna go in for a second dip and I had to remember no give it a minute because I was putting it all on like I'm putting it all on with the pretty much with a fluffy brush, but this is a little stiffer, fluffier brush. I think it's a Morphe brush, yeah, because the bristles are a little hard. I should say that's how I should say it. The bristles are kind of temperamental, but look at that! Like it did the whole eye with one dip. And there's so much left on the brush. Now there's a little shimmer in it, which I don't understand why they're putting shimmer in mattes. I don't know. I don't get it. But I guess it's not for me to get. But this palette, like, you know how you with some palettes we feel very, very, very overwhelmed. Like this just went super dark on that eye. So I might as well just use the rest on this side too. Make it even. Gotta blend it out. But, you know, we look at a palette, and we want all the beautiful colors. And then we go, ooh, that's so overwhelming. I don't think I can get it to work. It doesn't work. This palette, you can do two colors. You can do four colors. You could do, you know, they didn't get muddy at all. That's why I wanted to make a, a video on it. Like, I've been using it for a minute so I can talk about it, you know. And I'm going to go into one of those light mattes that I told you needed a little bit of 
they didn't need to put both of them in, they only needed one. I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of this dark brown. Now, the brown does look kind of burgundy brown, and I like that. I really do. Because when it's too brown, then it looks just like my skin tone. Or like I've been bruised. But I like that. I like where that came out. So now I'm going to take a little of the burgundy and go up against it. Just to warm it up. Warm up the crease a little bit. And the cool thing is, you di I don't have to cut the crease with some of these glitters. I don't know. But the one glitter that I did use, which was the dark green, did not need any glitter glue. And it didn't need a to be used with your finger. It could, it was able to be used with a brush and blend out beautifully. So I'm going to just take a flat, flatter, fluffier brush. I think I want to go into that blue because that icy blue is really calming. It's giving me issues. It gave me a little bit of issues on the swatch, but I'm like, mm, I have high hopes for you. And I want to mix it with that silver at the end. And we'll just see. See? You don't even need glitter glue. Extra concealer. There's not that much fallout. I didn't put my foundation on yet because I do tend to put too many shades on and have a lot of fallout. But look at that. Like, it does not... I do not have fall out like I thought I would with the blue. With the green, I had definitely had a whole bunch of fallout. But with this blue, no, not at all. And she's pretty. You know, I didn't, I already seen it was going to be pretty, but I was just like, I'm amazed that it's pretty on the eyes. So I haven't worn this color. I wanted to give everybody in here a chance and not overwhelm the palette, you know, give it its whole glory. And I've worn it for hours. Oh, and I've worn it in water. Uh-huh. I've worn it to physical therapy once before, and I do water therapy, and the makeup didn't go nowhere. The look stayed. So let's get a little of that silver. I know. I totally put that backwards. I should have put it probably here to brighten the eye, but no, I want it here. Kind of reverse it. Now that one had a lot of fallout. This one has definitely got a lot of fallout, so next time we'll use something else, you know? Some glitter glue, something else to get it to stay. But she stays on, it just, you know, you know what I mean, so I wouldn't have so much mess. Hmm, I like that. Now I'm going to take that dark, dark blue. And because it's so temperamental, that's why I'm only going to use it like this, where I'm going to overlay that just a little bit and buff it into the crease. Just trying to shape my eye a little bit before I will clean up. You know, get that nice little. I don't really. I'm not doing a sharp point. I'm just doing a rounded edge. And then I like to clean off the brush with no extra product. Just kind of blend it in. Like, if anyone would have told me this 10 years ago, that blending would have been the, the key to all my looks, I would have thought you were crazy. Because I didn't even know what blending was. I just would swipe on a lipstick or a lip, you know, eyeliner and call it a day with mascara. But I would wear foundation and blush and 
I didn't even do highlight or contour or anything back then, you know. When you look at your makeup then and now, you're like, whoa, I've improved 110%. Alright, so let me clean up and put on the rest of my face, and I will be back with the final look. Alright, and last is the highlighter. Now, I was pretty shook about the highlighter. It does have an overlay. Um, like, it's got a spray cover. I've only been swatching from right here because I don't want to mess up the embossing. But... I wanted you to see, she is not a chunky glitter, but she's not a thin one either. So, I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. You could do it with a brush, but for me, I like it, this one because of the, how the glitter is with the finger. And you still get that glow, but it's a different glow than my, you know, because you can see the glitter start to break up and blend. And this is before setting spray, because I like to put a little setting spray on top, and then lock it all in. But yeah, that's it, my busy bees. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I appreciate it. You know I do. If you're new here, hey, I'm your girl, Javina, and I love makeup and everything in between. And I'd just like to share them with you, and if that's what you're into... Please subscribe. I'd love to have you join the hive. And if you're not new here, you know I see you, sis. I see you, boo. I see you, my best friend. How are you all doing? I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in here, you know. Gotta do gotta do the damn thing, but I'm doing it. And yeah, I will see you all later. Oh, if you want to know what else is on my face, just some um, we'll just go through the foundations real quick. Both cover girl. Outlast that I found at my Dollar Tree. I have the lightest color under the eye, along with the darker color a little bit all over. Didn't need to uh, bronze because I use this uh, setting powder that's kind of illuminating from Born This Way. I baked under the eye. I did my little T-zone. And then I just used my Estee Lauder powder foundation to fill everybody else in. All the parts and blend out that bake and because they didn't have any blush in this collection I just I had this wet and wild blush that I hadn't touched a couple times and she's really pretty and you can see it is a really pretty mauve it's that perfect little glow it has like a little luminosity to it I don't know it's really pretty and I, I like it and I found this also at my local Dollar Tree so Keep you guys' eye out. You'll be finding some name brand drugstore makeup at our local Dollar Tree. All you gotta do is just keep them peepers peeled. And yeah, I'm not doing lashes today. I'm gonna go natural lashes. I'm thinking of about three, four coats of my tried and true Ulta Beauty and Tarte. And then doubling it up on top with some Milk Cosmetics uh, waterproof. Not a waterproof, not waterproof, and yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Be good to each other. Don't forget it's getting warm out here. Carry some water with you. Carry an extra snack. You don't know who may need it. Bless somebody. You know they will appreciate it. And if they don't, hey, at least God sees you, and it'll make you still a good person. Cause you're still a good person, regardless of what the world acts and how they act. You know, just keep yourself true. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.